somebody do something, you know what I'm saying? But I'm having fun. I'm enjoying myself. Of course, I'm going to do a little something to get everybody into it. But not like a, a full on performance, but I think they'll get it. I think they'll enjoy it. Say what? Yeah. I got it all through the house. Never took a straight the power of Mother Nature tried to put a damper on the premiere of 50 Cent's fifth season of Power. But that didn't stop the fresh blood from the popular series from getting their shine. What can we expect from you in season five? You know, you can expect Silver to continue to save the souls of the individuals we care so much about on Power. Oh, you know, I'm a caretaker. You never know, because I, I, I start at the end of season four. You never know if you're going to come back. I'm in season five, and Councilman Tate is he's up to some things. He's up to some things. Y'all know the words to this shit, right? Do y'all know the words to this shit? Right, how long has Harry been waiting? Is Harry up to good enough to wait for someone to give you the opportunity to showcase the talent that you have? And I'm not with wait, so they're going to see me put things together and do it a lot faster than usual. You know what I mean? I feel like it's a show of the power. No one has it, so we're all fighting to get it survival, and it's a survival of the fittest. So. You are killing your role, man. I want to kill you. I want to kill you. But that's a con that's right, and that's just a compliment to your skills, man. What is it like working on set with those guys, such as Omari Hardwick and uh, 50 Cent and all those talented brothers? It's a great experience, man. We're like a family, so the chemistry is great, and it's just amazing working with everyone. What's next for you? What, what, what do you got coming up? Next, um, I'm directing a short film this summer. Um, that's what's really next for me, and I'm still working on everything else as well. Talk about the writing of Courtney that Courtney presents. Oh my goodness, unbelievable. Talk about that. She has such a genius mind. She has such a weird, beautiful mind. And sometimes I'm just like, what are you doing? But it all comes nice and it all comes together. And yeah, she has, I love her mind. It's so creative. You never know what's going on in there. What's next for you? The Bobby Brown story, which comes out on BET this September 4th and 5th. I'll be on there. I can finally say it. I'm so excited. I'm playing the late, amazing, beautiful Bobby Christina. Life's full of twists and turns, bumps and bruises. I live, I learn. I'm from that city full of yellow cabs and skyscrapers. Hard to get a start this parts without paper. Home. We are in the middle of 51st Street. Is that right? Jam packed. Can't go anywhere. Most fans we've ever had. I definitely felt like the seasons have come to a graduating um, of sorts because we're at Radio City Hall. You know, some actually Omari and I have talked about like, uh, you know, not many people have the courage to kind of tell Ghost what to do or how to do it, but I think there's a mutual respect between the two characters. And I think Proctor's proven to Ghost that I, I want you out of jail and functioning the way you want. So I think he trusts in that. I mean, there's always a certain level of how much can I trust anyone on this show. I keep, I keep after it, you know. Cooper Sacks is, he wants to be on top. And so, and if you look back over the years, he's the only one that's actually been kind of on point. You know, he's, I actually don't break the law. I mean, I might be creepy and I might be a prick, but I don't break the law. She's in trouble. She was nice. She told Tasha where to be for me, and now someone's dead, and now, like, she's an accomplice for murder. Like, she is in some deep, 